Hi, this is Andy from ATF Guitars. This is just a quick uh, video setup guide for those of you who've bought one of these Guitar Link products from us to help you get started using this with the Mulab free recording software, which is what we recommend that you use. Just starting Mulab up for the first time here, and the first thing we need to do is to select our driver audio drivers. We're going to select device type ASIO. ASIO gives us the very low latency that we want and the driver ASIO Fall 2 which is in, on the install CD. Then we go into the ASIO for all control panel. This is where we select our input and output audio devices. Uh, for this demo I'm going to select the USB audio which is our guitar link uh, for input but I'm actually going to select my normal sound card for output um, so that I can monitor through speakers. If you want to monitor through the headphone socket on the USB device, you just select that instead. So we close that panel. We now need to select the ASIO for all driver again just to refresh any changes that we made in that control panel. And then just check with the select inputs and outputs that we've got a USB audio um, inputs and the outputs we want for our whatever sound card you want to use. I'm just going to switch all these extra outputs off keep things simple uh, for my sound card. OK, so we click OK on that and MuLab will open up. Uh, we'll just answer no to uh, the demo. Those audio settings you can get back to at any time through the edit menu and audio settings, but once they're set you shouldn't need to change them uh, unless you change USB ports or something like that. I'm just creating a new session here to give us a blank slate to start recording or to start making some noise. OK, blank slate. Now, uh, first thing is to switch on the uh, audio recording option. That's this button here. And then we right click that button. We need to switch monitoring on so we can hear what we're playing. And we select which rack we want to monitor through. I'm selecting rack one, which is down in the bottom left. And there we go, you can hear my guitar, you can see the VU meter working, and I'm hearing no latency there, I'm hearing it as I play it. So the next step is to add some effects, so we can load uh, effects into the rack. I'm going to browse to my VST plugins folder, where I've installed all the plugins that are on the CD. These are all freeware things, and I'm going to load up the Freeamp version 3 plugin. This is a, a neat all-in-one amplifier, cabinet, and stopbox simulator. Probably my most used plug-in. There's a load of different presets in here. Clean sounds and distorted sounds. Um, the app has clean and dirty channels on it. We can select different types of speaker cabinet. Uh, you can even mess around with microphone positioning if you want. If that wasn't enough, we've then got three slots down at the bottom for a variety of stop boxes, phasers, flanges, compressors, distortion, pitch shift, a whole range. Just going to dial in some gain here. And you can see here, there's a whole range of presets built into this as well. They don't just control the app, the presets for stomp boxes and that sort of thing as well. So that's preamp, uh, free amp rather, so lots of useful stuff in there. I'm going to load a second uh, effect into this rack. I want to put some reverb on the sound as well. I'm going to go to the Keyhouse Classic Effects and select the reverb module. Again, we've got a lot of different presets here, but fully customizable parameters as well. And there we go. That's making some noise. Um, the next video I aim to be showing you um, a quick demo of how we can do a multi-track recording and make use of VST instruments like Drum Machine. Um, so I will see you then and thanks for watching.